iOS 18 beta 3 is here. And as you can see, there are major changes to the home screen. These apps are not native black apps. Apple has changed the color for a lot of applications on here. So you look at Messenger, you look at WeChat, you look at Studio, YouTube, Google News, everything. Apple has changed the icons and they could not look any better. Not all of them, but some of them. And there are many more major big changes. So iOS 18 beta 3 in this video. What's up Lollipop, my name is Joe and in today's video, iOS 18 beta 3. This update comes at a great time. Every looks like every two weeks we're getting a new iOS update, which is fantastic. Now, beta 3 is not the final version. You're not going to be able to download this in the settings app. The final version of iOS 18 is coming in September. This one is only for developers, and hopefully we're going to have a public beta soon. But first of all, let's talk what's new in beta 3. What? catches the eye the moment you turn on your phone after updating is that some of the third party applications are in dark mode. Apple has fixed a lot of them. And as you can see, Messenger, WeChat, YouTube, and uh, we go into, for example, Google Maps, all Google applications look fantastic with a black background. Some applications still are not in dark mode. Hopefully they will be updated soon. I have a feeling that the apps that have like a gradient background color are not updated yet, but the ones that have solid or white color in the back are probably or are the ones that are being updated. So it looks really cool. It looks more unified. And even the applications that are not changed to dark mode have like a darker tint over them. So if I go over here, I go to edit and customize and I put it into light mode, as you can see, these applications look a lot lighter in this circumstances. But I'm actually going to make it bigger for you. If I go to dark mode, it darkens everything and it looks fantastic. It looks like there's a little bug right here. Google Maps or Google News doesn't want to go to dark mode if it's big. If it's small, it does. Well, there you go. The next big thing that happened is a dynamic wallpaper. So we have a new wallpaper with iOS 18 beta 3. And as you can see, if we go and add a new wallpaper, we have the iOS 18 wallpaper over here. And, you know, we have yellow, we have pink, azure, purple, etc. But the first one is a dynamic one. And this is going to change based on the time of day. So during the day, your phone is going to be changing colors. And I am very pleased with this. We haven't received a dynamic wallpaper for a long, long time. I think it was about time. And this is the way to do it for Apple. I truly love this wallpaper. So you set it up. And then when you are on your phone, uh, as you can see right now, it's almost midnight over here. It's in dark mode and hopefully when I wake up, it's going to be bright yellow and it's just going to be changing throughout the day. And I think that looks great. Another thing that changed on the home screen is the Maps Applications icon. So this icon has been changing ever since we've got Beta 1. Beta 1, it was different. Beta 2, it was different. Beta 3, it was different. They're trying to figure out what's the best version for the dark mode. This is not my favorite, I have to be honest. Beta 2 was a lot better, it was more darker. I think there's too many colors over here for dark mode. I truly hope they go back to a little bit darker version. In Control Center, it is a lot easier to fit the applications into their place wherever you want them. As you can see, it is a lot easier to place icons wherever you want them and it is a lot easier to resize them to the size that you want. This was a major problem in iOS 18 beta 1 and beta 2. Apple is working hard to fix these issues and they're doing a very good job because resizing these little widgets over here has become a very, very easy thing. A new thing happened in the calendar app too. So if you go into the weekly view and you zoom in or zoom out, now there's a haptic feedback every time you change the view of this. So it's very easy to put the exact position you want for your phone or your week view. It is a must have. It is a great feeling to be adjusting your calendar and feeling the haptic feedback. Another thing in the photos application, first of all, the select and the search buttons 
are separate again. So previously they were in one, or at least if you slid down like this, that's the only time you could find select there. But now it is select and search separately, which makes it very good. The second thing is you can now zoom out into the year view again, which is very, very beneficial. If you're searching for something very quickly, this was one of the best ways to search for those pictures. I've mentioned control center and from the control center, I can turn on the flashlight. And as you can see, the flashlight has a new animation over here. So this is how wide you want your flashlight or how precise you want it and how dim or how bright. I think this animation is a lot better than beta one and beta two, and it is more responsive than previously. These are just some of the minor changes that happened in iOS beta three. Alongside this, we sadly didn't get phone recording, neither did we get Apple intelligence. Hopefully Apple will be adding those soon. Also, we do not have the public beta yet. That will be coming either tomorrow or in probably one week because this beta three version is something that they can send out to public beta testers as well. In terms of battery life, I don't know what the battery life is with beta three. I just started using it, but with beta two, it was terrible. Basically, I had around four hours of usage per day, which um, is one of the worst battery lives I've ever had with an iPhone. So I'm truly happy that um, the beta three is already here and I can start testing this. In terms of battery health, I'm down to 88%, which is terrible. When I started using betas, I was around 95. So that's about six, 7% of degradation just with three betas or two betas. So this is iOS 18 beta three. I will be giving you updates on everything. And don't forget to check out these accessories. This is the Apollo stand, which is a premium aluminum or aluminum stand. That is a three in one stand, your headphones, your Apple Watch and your iPhone, and it charges with MagSafe. And this is Apollo 333. Three factor protection, three meter drop resistance, and three year warranty. You can find this on apolloaccessories.com or bestiphoneaccessories.com.